What's up guys, Humble Fishing, back at it again with another video. We're fishing for sharks. Uh, we have my crab ring with us. We're going for Dungeness crab with that. We're just going for whatever we catch. It's really bad weather. Uh, off and on showers with hail. So um, stay tuned. We'll just be here um, for a couple hours, see if we get anything. Ooh. Oh, big ass dog fish, We gotta go this way. We gotta oh, go this that's way. a nice fish. Shoot it. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Am I gonna do anything? I, I was not expecting this at all. The rod was just bent over, dude. It was only in here for like two seconds. That was shallow, too. Yeah, I mean, it was super shallow. <laughs> I was not expecting that, dude. I know, I know, I'm, I'm going to steal. Huh? He's skinny. It's fine. Okay, so this guy right here wasn't really reviving that well. I don't think he's going to, uh, I don't think he's going to make it. He lost a lot of blood. The hook just got jammed in there in a weird way. So, I mean... There's a lot of these guys in here. I think I've caught many of these fish and released them. So I think we're going to keep them. It's going to be a catch and cook. I've heard they have really nice meat. So we're going to skin them right away and gut them. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here's our shark meat. Very white flesh right there. I mean, look at that, that's pristine. Um, it's really fibrous, actually. It feels like a scallop. So we are going to take these and dip them into this milk and soak them for about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm making fish tacos tonight for these guys. It's gonna be great. Okay, so this is our dogfish. Uh, it's been soaking in here for an hour, hour and a half. So we are going to drain this. Drain that all the way. And what we're left with is some beautifully firm meat. Um, it's nice and springy. It's like lobster consistency. Uh, we have another thing of this. This is all from one fish. Okay, so we're going to take both of these and put them right over here and here's how it's gonna go take one piece put it in the flour it's nice and dry put it in the egg put it back in the flour back in the egg and then the panko breadcrumbs and this has um, dill in it too. Yeah, so and that looks great. We're just gonna throw this into some hot oil and yeah. So here we have our butter. Here we have our cast iron pan. And I don't really like butter that much, so I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. Just, just a tiny little bit. Probably just like, probably just like that. it around it's gonna melt really well um yeah and we're just gonna put these babies right here straight into there i mean these look amazing it's a nice little nice little chunk of fish um yeah well we're just gonna we're just gonna let this all simmer down and it's gonna be very nice cool fish tacos 
Here is the spiny dogfish right here. It's beautiful chunks of meat. Um, this one's a little thicker, so I'm going to put the thinner one in first. Lay it away from you so it doesn't splatter. And yeah, that's just going to turn the heat up a little bit. And that's just going to work some magic with the butter and the panko. It's going to be great. So and I'm just going to lay some, some more of them in. So more thin ones because you don't want different ones to cook at different rates. It's a very thin one. It's a better one. Have some dill on there as well. That's, that's starting to crackle. So here's a skill that I've learned from a master chef, Gordon Ramsay. Um, he taught me how to chop things very fast. This is how you do it. You take your knife, you go like this. These fellas are dunsky. Uh, we're just gonna take them out, lay them on here, and stick them straight into the oven so they maintain their crispiness. Boom. And now these are gonna finish up cooking. Here's some sour cream and milk. That's what I always do for sauce. This is my go to. You get some very finely chopped onion, put that in there. Squeeze some lemon. Here's a here's a uh, tip. Put it all. And squeeze it because your mouth is very strong, and you can get the most juice out of it as possible. And now we're gonna add some dill and cilantro to that. If I have, I might not have cilantro, but um, this is gonna go on top of our tacos. Okay, so here's our taco right here. Um, here is the the fish. A little break test for you guys. Super flaky, nice. Um, we're just gonna add, we're gonna add this sauce that I made straight on top. As that, a couple spoonfuls. We're gonna add some shredded cabbage. Right there, not too much, but not too little. Um, yeah, and it's basically ready to eat. I'll tap to you. Of course. Okay, so. I'll plate it up. It's very nice. So, we're gonna dig in. Food for the family right there. Thanks for watching. Remember to uh, like and subscribe for more videos like this. And just stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching.